So I'm doing 2018 section B question six higher level, so the toy shovel. Okay, so curve ABC D is a portion of the ellipse with the major axis AD and point B is in the curve. Okay, so we don't have a minor axis, we have to get the minor axis. Um, so the concept you don't behind to do the, the minor first part here, axis point B is uh, on the curve, the minor axis and draw the ellipse. the major axis. Point. You have your major okay, axis, you, you, you so plot out the major axis and major point B. axis. Get on it. You draw in your major circle. Okay, and then we're going now, to draw. You draw B back to the center. Oh, sorry, not B back to the center. Uh, you go parallel, parallel from B to the minor to axis. The minor so it touches the, circle, the major circle. Major circle. You join it back, back to, the to the circle there. And then, from okay, and then you go straight across there from B. The okay, axis. and that's going to be a point on the minor circle. And you point and then you can join the minor circle. You can draw the circle in there. So we're going to do that now. And that's how you find the minor circle. So there's just the dimensions for fine B. And uh, there's the two lines set up. The center of the wheels is up 27 from the bottom and the center of the ellipse is up 32 from the center of the wheels. Okay, so I'm marking 80 there. And uh, that's the length of the major axis. And then B is 66 from the center. I'm drawing in my minor axis here. And then I'm going up 24 from point B. Remember, 20, uh, B is 66 to the left of the minor axis and up 24. So now I'm drawing in the major circle. That has a radius of 80. And from B, I'm going to go up until I hit the major circle. I'm going to join back then to the center of the major circle. And then from B, I'm going to go parallel to the major axis until I hit that inclined line. Now I have a point on the minor circle. I'm going to draw in my minor circle, and then I'm going to divide it into 60, 30. So now I'm dividing it into 60, 30. And then where the division lines pierce the minor circle, I went parallel to the major axis away from the minor circle until they intersected the lines coming down from the major circle. And now I can add in more 60, 30 divisions. So parallel to the minor axis, parallel to the minor axis. Now parallel to the major axis. So I'm going out from the circle. I can freehand sketch the ellipse in. So I'll sketch a portion of it. That's it completed there. Then to draw uh, UV, which is a portion of the ellipse, all right, um, you go, uh, I'm going to take the major, what you call it, um, axis of the ellipse, and the letter U is up 60 from the top of the ellipse. Now I take the uh, major axis, okay, and I drop it down from U, and then I swing from the center the new center point that's it there okay so I went down 80 from point U okay and re-swung same major axis and same minor axis
can freehand sketch in the curve then and complete the rest of it here over 17 to the right from U okay or straight over from B mark your 17 here drop it down 45 degrees coming up here and then from where the two ellipses intersect straight down now I can draw on the wheels they are radius 27 and radius 12 so the one on the right I go over 27 okay from the vertex on the right of the ellipse so over 27 and then the small circle is radius 12 and then the front wheel is just straight down from the uh, point B same radius is same altitude for the center point Now we'll set out the parabola so we'll go 49 over to the left from the center of the circle so 49 the height of it is 75 so we'll draw a light line up and we'll mark up 75 in it okay uh, the, to get point M we'll have to bisect it and then the width of it will be 65 so 75 there and then 65 there I'm marking from the line 65 okay now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a quick sketch now in a moment now just before so I go through the tech sketch I'll draw on the parabola, uh, the parabola I'll sketch it out okay, so you have the okay, so okay width of it rectangle, the length of the height of it, of it. it okay now it fits into a rectangle Okay, the center line is given for us but what we'll have to do to get out that line is by middle. now we're going to we need to have the divisions here equal to divisions there then we're okay, going to now divide draw the, line the top, top and side into three equal parts and, and I'm going to draw a line in any acute three angle. equal divisions mark three on equal that. parts on it they, they, they can, can be, be any distance any distance so long as they're equal parts. I'm going to show you that back corner of the rectangle there these lines all the lines are, are parallel to each other now i'm going to do the same thing with this so i'm going to draw a line at any acute angle i'm going to have three equal divisions on it i'm going to do the same here so i'm going to join this back here now these points are brought parallel to the axis that so sketch them across and these points are joined to the vertex. To the vertex. Now, where the first one hits the first one is a point in the curve. The second one hits the second one is a point in the curve. And you can freehand sketch half of it in. Sketch in the problem and then to get the other side, just mirror them across. So that's how you do it. And then I'll show you how to technically do it on the sheet. So I'll do exactly that now coming up, bisect the line, compass set at any length from each corner, so there's the center line. Line at any acute angle. Three equal parts in it every 20. Join the last one there to the corner and then use slide and set squares. Join them to the vertex.
and then same here draw a line at any acute angle make it six long mark every 20 join there to the corner and the subsequent lines are parallel and they're going across And there's the points. I can freehand, I mirror them across, and then I can freehand sketch them in. So I can freehand sketch the points in, keeping your hand inside the curve. And then it's a 75 degree angle. You can use your two set squares to get the 75, 45, and 65 together. In. Then I'm going to do the tangent uh, to the ellipse. So to do a tangent to the ellipse, I need the focal points. To get the focal points, I take half the major axis. So I'm going to take half the major axis and swing from the top of the minor axis. So I'm going to join the two focal points to B. I'm going to bisect that angle down with my compass. So set the compass to any length, swing an arc there, swing an arc. I accidentally put it on the wrong one there. I notice it now in one sec. You see, I notice it now I had it on the wrong line. Now you join the intersection of the arcs back to B. That's the normal. And you go perpendicular to the normal from B. So put a set square underneath it, hold the bottom one, slide the top one, draw a heavy line back from B. And then to draw the base of the toy shovel, I get my compass, turn it upside down, put it to the center of the front wheel, mark a 10 degree line. heavy it in here you'll see the finished product now in a second cheers thanks bye bye